Wow, that's a start. Okay, Chromagus or Nixia? Probably a, uh, probably a Nixia. But I'm just gonna think about it for a moment. Yeah, Nixia is insane. The value. Chromagus isn't even that good. It's like an ogre, except it costs two more mana. Viola Lightbane. That's pretty cool. She is also pretty good. I think Ice Rager beats Dragonhawk Rider. The damage is rarely that important. Ice Rager. I mean, I could combo it with the Kings, though. I do press the button a lot when I'm Paladin. Eh, fine. I think that one's close. Oh, combo with Dragonhawk Rider. But no mesh, I believe. I wonder if this is possibly worth considering because I have a Dragonhawk Rider. That draw 2 value. Also, this is a 4 drop. But 4 drops aren't uh, gotten as much. Ooh, Kraken. Quality. Fighting in the pit. Bomber or Inf Master? Matter of Bomber is a little bit worse than the Paladin. Just a little bit. I go with the Imp. Annoyo? Or Humility? Need a 2 drop. Tector. It's interesting, but I'm considering the uh, Bloodfin Raptor just because I have no 2 drops yet. But it's early enough. Dragon Consort and Nixia combo. Well, the other cards are bad. Yeti or Ogre? Or Protector again. It's not going to be Protector again. I have a good amount of late game already, so I should probably stick with early or middle game. Uh, Spider Tank over Scarlet Crusader. I actually have two dragons. Blackwing Technician. A little bit tempting. And they're all heavy dragons, which I wouldn't cast. Uh, I have three three drops already. And two dragons isn't really synergy. I can only really hope to get one more. Another spider tank. Consecration. The hammer. This card is not that great, but it beats the other cards. The cult. Pretty sure competitive spirit isn't that good. I'll go with the uh, problem solver, I think. Yes, yeah, kind of just reminds me of winning more. Could use that to drop. That's a good one. True silver. Dwarf. Another four drop. Lance carry, that's a good one. Revenge is alright. Oh, I said Lance carry is a good one. I think I meant it's uh it's okay. Instead of it's good. It's not even a 2 drop. I think there might be problems getting two minions out on the board. Argent Lance, or Dragon Consort number 2. Ooh. I do need the earlier game. But I also... Is this too greedy? It's probably too greedy. I have barely any early game. I have Anoitron and Bone Guard Lieutenant and Mad Bomber that can be cast. I should be very happy I got this. Uh, Vigil. Or Gnomish. I have a lot of 4 drops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And yet Dark Iron Dwarf is still good enough to take. I also have a good amount of 3 drops. Second Equality. Fencing Coach is basically a 3 mana 2, 2, 1, 1. Emperor Cobra is a solid card. Do I want 2 Equality? How many spells do I have in this deck? I have one, Solemn Vigil, two Hammer of... I actually have a good amount, three, four, five. And then there's a lot of spell-like effects. I have Mad Bomber to combo. The, the first equality would be an easy choice, but the second equality... Those times where you have the two equalities in your hand, you're sometimes going to both be dead. Uh, I think I should go Emperor Cobra. It's really close. Or is it even really close? I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna pick Cobra though. Alright, so one of the uh, picks that happened in this arena that chat was kind of riding a little bit over is that I chose the Cult Master very quickly over the Seal of Champions. Uh, I will admit that's actually a pick which I should have given a little bit more thought to. 
the reason I skipped over Seal of Champions so quickly is one, I don't, I haven't played Paladin Arena that much. Uh, Seal of Champions is a card that is proving to be surprisingly good. Uh, secondly, I didn't have much early game. Seal of Champions is especially good when you go two drop into Seal of Champions, and at the time that the Seal of Champions was offered, I had almost no two drops. And I really like Colt Master and Paladin also, so I pretty much auto picked it. But yeah, it's it's debatable which one is better. Uh, this deck, it's got one, two, three, four, two drops, which can be played on turn two without feeling bad. Good amount of three drops, really strong four drop crew. Uh, not very much late game, only a Dragon Consort, a Pit Fighter, Assassin, Kraken, and Nixia, but uh, those are cards of high quality, plus I have a lot of four drops. Um, so I'd say the weakness of this deck is not so much in its lack of late game, as much as it is the lack of two drops. I'd like just uh, one or two more. But well, that looks pretty good. But still, just because it's lacking two drops, uh, that could be a factor. Uh, behind the strength of Anixia, North Sea Kraken, and my really strong mid game, but my slightly lacking early game, uh, Argent Lance is going to be really good in this deck. Uh, I'm feeling lucky today. I'll guess 10. If I had a few more 2 drops, like 2 more 2 drops, 2 more good 2 drops, and 2 more, uh, 2 less 4 drops, I probably would have guessed 12. For Doomhammer, I will fight with honor. I wonder if I keep the four, uh, the true silver champion, just as a really strong card. I do have a lot of four drops, but this one's really strong. I also have the coin, so if I get another four drop, I can just uh, coin out one of the four drops and then coin out the other one. I wonder if I would have kept uh, Blessing of Kings of the Neutron. I'm not sure it would have come to me to. Uh, it would have. I'm not sure if I would have. But it sure turned out pretty good. I don't need to kill this immediately. Just uh, develop my slower threat. Your magic shall not save. I think this is a mistake that some people would actually do. Just play the true silver champion, kill the flame tongue totem. When you can just kill it for free a turn later. The good news is no divine shield, that would have been the worst one. Face. Okay. I have a few choices here. I can either go Hammer of Wrath or True Silver Champion. Uh, True Silver Champion makes me take two damage, but it puts up a uh, threat for the next turn. It's probably better. I could try playing Mad Bomber and then I could clear the board. If that hits. Yeah, that's worth a shot. And there's some outside chance it kills this one. Darn. Some people would have Hammer of Wrath the uh, the Spellbreaker there, and that's what I was alluding to in that True Silver Champion takes two more damage than Hammer of Wrath, but it sets up a uh, four attack availability for the next turn. So it's often important to have that extra power carried over for the next turn. Me 
Though in this case, I'm just gonna attack face. Since I'm low enough. The Bloodlust looks funny, but that was probably his only way to ever get in any damage with that. And if he's actually got burn, then that'll turn out to have been a really good play. I didn't quite notice that I'm one damage off lethal. Uh, nothing better I could have done though, I believe. I did the maximum amount of damage to him. Oh, hello. For justice. You asked for it. I will fight with honor. And that's one of the downsides of not having that many two drops. <sighs> Here's the hoping I draw one of them, or even a three drop. I toss the Warhorse Trainer since it's probably one of my worst three drops. Destroyed. That's a big deal. If that's a 2 3, it's actually really scary. But a 1 2 is basically nothing. Well, it gets rid of my guy. So I need a 2 drop or a 3 drop, I think, here. Nice. If I didn't get a 3 drop, I probably would have pressed the button and then began my slow descent into losing the game. It's clobbering time. <laughs> yes. Unfortunate face hit by him there. Hmm. Ooh. For justice. I hope it hits me the face again. Basically it's a 50-50 on whether or not I have a 3-2. I guess whether I have a 3-2 or whether I have 4 extra health. Ouch. Well, turns out it's hitting face. Hmm. For justice. A lot of damage. You're in trouble now. So here, we hope he doesn't have an answer. Here, we hope the ogre hits the chick. Come on. Uh, yes. <laughs> That's huge. Your magic shall not save I think we can actually stabilize from here. Um, do I make a guy or do I play a Noitron? I think I play Noitron since the more targets I have for Blessing of Kings, the better. Wanted, dead or alive. Hmm. Handle it. Seems okay to just use this as two damage. I'm the one who will be controlling the board after all. Let me think. Oh, that's a combo. Uh, that's not a good combo. Where is it? It's a board clear if I ever fall that far behind, but I don't see myself ever falling that far behind. Nah, I just use this to damage. Answer the call of the lights. Uh 
random paladin card and a random spell card. Dragon consort. If I if he was at a seven team, then I should play Argent Lance, but he's not. Now with the Mad Bomber, I might have lethal over two turns, so I think I should play Argent Lance. The the main fear is Flame Strike. Um But even with Flame Strike Fire Blast, that's only nine damage. So just to push in a little bit more damage, Argent Lance should be correct here. Because even if uh the end game has my stuff completely dying, I have a chance to win with the last hit of this and a Mad Bomber. Also equality Mad Bomber is a combo. Not that that matters. Actually, it couldn't matter. It would mean that the chances of dealing one damage to his face are a lot higher. That tournament on 10D definitely had a good uh, close up on the end screen there. Uh, 2, 3, 4, 5. Do we keep that? Yeah, I mean, I'm happy to play this for my next five turns. Possibly I'll draw into a 4, and then I'll uh, do 2, 4, 4, 5 instead. That would have been an interesting choice to coin Lieutenant and then turn to Hero Power. Would counter a uh, turn two, two, three, but not that. Demolisher. Got a coin out of four against that. Hopefully, no wrath. There's a Wrath. Well, I guess I play a Dwarf. Unfortunate that that uh, Demolisher hit. Hmm. Speed draw. For justice! Gonna have to try to bait out a swipe before Nixia comes out. Not that I think he has one. Hmm. So there's two choices, Lance Carrier on this or make a guy. I'm gonna make a guy. I think uh, this game might actually make it into the end game where the guys are relevant. This also was kind of tempting to swipe, right? Kind of tempting. Oh, dragon in hand. Problem solved. Wow. You don't want to do the cloak on this. So one of those two cards is a dragon. Problem <laughs> solved. Next turn is pretty much always an XD. Seven. I want a spellbreaker that. Nah. What you want? 
I could just play Cobra. No, it just dies to the 3-5. Is that bad? Hmm. This is a bit vulnerable to MCT. But one of the two cards in his hand that he was holding was a dragon, and then he drew the last card, so. Besides, the chance of MCT isn't even that high, given that there's a bias towards drafting TGT cards. Showing TGT cards, I mean. Okay, so the last most card is a dragon. Just a random fun fact. I wonder if Anixia is possibly correct as not to play this turn. Could instead go Blessing, Tank Guy. 11, 6. Let me Becomes an 11, 2. No, it's <laughs> not correct. Solved. It's a little bit spooky. I wonder if he holds a Deathwing. What to do? I mean, the odds are against. But given that I know there's a dragon in his hand, maybe I should play around Deathwing. So the way to play around it would just be uh, making sure I keep above 12. And then the turn after Deathwing I can play Cobra. Another night on the prowl. Still saving that dragon. Spooky. The lost card is a dragon. Whatever could it be. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, I should use this. It's hitting a lot of stuff right now. Huh? Oh. And here I was prepping against Deathwing. Boo. Your magic shall not save you. Where shall I strike? Die, Reporting for duty. I actually should have played the Cobra instead, but I was uh, in the mode of still, oh man, if he plays Deathwing, I play Emperor Cobra. Because more realistic is he plays an Iron Bark Protector. Oops. Revealed Deathwing. Wow. I didn't win with a Kraken. Gross. For justice. But yeah, that's a good card for me to have an Emperor Cobra out against. Yeah, I guess if he has Deathwing, GG. I can see. Combo combo. One day I'll be a real knight. 
free roll. Get him. Gross. Thank you. Spellbreaker. Basically kills a 2 1. Or you want to play Mechanical Yeti and let him have a 2 1. It's interesting because after the Mechanical Yeti goes into the 2 1, it becomes a 4 3, which is the same as Spellbreaker. Uh, you don't always get a target for the silence, also, so I guess I'll use it. Your magic shall not save you. I wonder if I go face or if I hit this. Guess I'll hit it for simplicity. This could be interesting. Oh wait, I don't have five mana. People are saying like, ha, three damage missed. That's true, I did miss three damage there. And a good amount of the time, that would have just done three free damage. And it's kind of just a risk slash reward type analysis there. I try to find the parts of the game where I can just deal damage for free there. It's nice to be able to find that extra damage whenever possible. Alright, I do have that combo combo. If I play these two, this dies and uses two mana. Do I have any better play here? Yes, actually, if I put the uh, armor plating on this, then the Yeti has to go into it. Based off the board. I think I want to keep this guy hidden. So I know this card over here is something that he tried to target a 7-5 stealth with. Probably a spell. That's nice, my 7-1 gets a 4-6. Nixia. A Nixia Cult Master. That's a combo. Okay, so I know that card is the spell. The presumed spell. No combo available yet. Can't kill anything. So, I guess I make a, um, I'll draw a card. Do I want a king's one of these? I think it would be okay too. Under the theory of if he has flame strike, he still takes too much damage. So, hopefully, that hand is not exactly two fireballs. Well played. Bring victory. I will fight with honor. I'll hold spider tank. 
Should be able to get A4. The guy doesn't suck that much against priest. One drop. Zombie chow. Valley Valley. I think I have a spider tank. And I drew this, so even if he has a pain, I guess I can... Yeah, it'll work out. Boo. I actually don't have to play this. If I draw a good 4-drop, I would probably have played it instead. Or I could play a Spellbreaker. These cards aren't really worth hitting with the true silver. When I really look at them. I think I would have played almost any 4 drop minion in my deck there. Except Cult Master and Gnomish Inventor. Probably wouldn't have played Dark Iron Dwarf either. Which means I would have played exactly Mechanical Yeti. Now that's worth true silvering. It's starting to be worth consecrating. Haha, <laughs> he killed the imp, right? Or did he? No, he just killed the imp master. For justice! There is a legitimate question on whether or not to push the button here. I'm going to press the button because it opens some of the consecration. The damned stand ready. And in the worst case, I just take uh, three extra damage, which is mostly not important. For justice. I'll save the consec here. It just gave me the option. Looks like a misplay now, but... Having the extra option for taking 3 damage, I think it was worth it. Wow, you played that one first. Okay. That's a big worm. Wow. I'm looking for equality here. That's not bad. That's pretty good. This is deal four damage. Here, you got a worm problem. A Jormengar problem. There's quite a few cards that are great for me left in the deck. There's also, um. There's also a few bad ones, of course. New animation! No more carrots. Delicious. It became a lot more delicious, so to say. Thumb cakes. So Consecration, I can't kill everything. It would buff the refreshment vendor with this Dark Cultist. I think I should kill this. <laughs> Problem solved. Weak against Holy Nova, but he only has two cards. And I can't just one for one here, I think. <laughs> I need to try to two for one with this thing. 
The two for one will still exist unless he has specifically Holy Nova. And then I'll be in a world of hurt. The good news is my consecration. Looks like it'll be pretty good. Hmm. Come on, equality. <sighs> consecration isn't going to be good enough here. So, alright, I'll do this and this, and then I'll play Nixia. Good enough. Next year continues to clean up in the late game. Well, continues to press the advantage. Give me an advantage. Something, something. Hmm. These units are really big. Equality me! Oh. Okay, so I can kill the 8 8, which means I won't die. I have 6 damage available, I need to deal uh, 13. I can deal with just uh, this one, I guess. The units are so big. One, two, three. He's top decking. I just need him to draw. No, that's not a blank, unfortunately. But it's not terrible. It's like kind of average. The card's probably slightly above average in his deck. What's he gonna do here? I think face is probably the right choice. Killing Anixia is not a bad idea either. With those two units. That'd be give him a 511, a 53. No, it would probably be a bad idea. Yeah, face is probably the place, I think. Killing the 5-2 and then sending it into the 3-3 three, three might also be correct. Alright, but I can't disagree with face at all. Oh, rip. 8-11-14-15. It's finally here! Oh, and I can buff this. I almost forgot about that. And then this can go into the uh, light spawn. Reporting for duty. You face death. The battle. Wait, did I make a mistake somewhere? No, I didn't. Uh oh. I already used my true silver. Oh crap, I have a North Sea Kraken in this deck. 8, 11, 13, 15. Okay, I've got a lot of ways to deal 2 damage. 4 damage. Eh. Oh my gosh. Am I about to get Krakened? Please. Reporting for duty. I do want to kill him as quickly as possible. So that's 10 damage, you go down to 9, he goes up to 11, 8, 10, 12. No, actually, I should just play this. So, uh, do I kill with this or this? If I kill him with that and I have 7, he goes down to 12, 7, 9, 12. So no, I want to keep the 8. I, I don't want to do that. Uh, so I should do this. So it's all on whether or not he thought still more C Kraken for me. Sweet. You shall pay for your Whew. This one. Oh, 
Oh, what I could have done, yeah, is kill a guy with a Nixia and then equality, right? Was there anything that fit that criteria? I think the 511 was way too big. Maybe there was some other minion. 